Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Console Mods. I'm UK Gamer 88 and today we have the DND Daco, which has just been released for console mods. So available on all platforms. And you might not have seen this one before, but I did a review on the it is the Toyota Tacoma, just the M branded version, and it's exactly the same, more or less. So outside fantastic bit of kit now i've set this up for crawling where before i was just sort of driving around and i thought we'd come down to the proving grounds and we'd do a little bit of crawling on it and you can see the detail on this one is absolutely exceptional absolutely love it it's done a fantastic job this was made by dnd uh, modding which is delta gaming and go and check his channel out i always leave a link in the description for delta's channel so let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available. Now I've got to apologise for my regulars because they're going, oh we've seen this already. But I've got to go through it because I've got to show you what the crack is. So we've got the 4.7 litre which is the biggest one. We've got the 3.5 the V6 and then we've got the V8 option. And you see there's plenty of power difference on there. Now this isn't OP whatsoever. It's just very, very well balanced. And you see there we're using the Pro Crawler manual with the low gears on there. There's a highway fine-tuned and then a non-fine-tuned, which is awesome because I'm not too not too keen on those fine-tuned, to be fair. And then we've got the Taco stock as well. And then suspension-wise, we've got the RCLT HD and then the Fox Balance suspension. And then we also have the Pro Towing suspension and the Taco Pro Lifted for Fox Sport. And then tyre wise, got quite a few different choices on the tyres. As you can see, we have got the airless tyres on there as well. And all of these, there you see we've got excellent rating on these. So should be good to go. And then for chained, we've actually got two different chain tyres. Just there, the 40s and the 38s. And then we've also got studs, if you prefer the studs. And then winch wise, this is this is normal for Delta Gaming, how he sets it up where he's got autonomous skate, autonomous skate extended, and then your stock. So it's always autonomous skate extended, basically, isn't it? And then we've got engageable diff lock, which is you already get that anyway. Now the I I should have showed you the cost of this, which was thirty-eight thousand, I think it was. So uh, I'll go back and show you that in a moment. Now this one, you've got the spare wheel on the back there, you add that frame. And then you can put whatever tyre you've got to, to match there. You see he's got all the different tyres there. And then you can put fuel on the back. He's got 240 on that. He's actually up that. Because I said it was a little bit low. Where it, You do tend to drink a little bit of fuel. So it's always better to have a, a lot spare with you. And then we've got the tanks. The tr trunk supplies. Tank supply. The trunk supplies are 150 repair points. And then 80 on the fuel. And then we've got the taco roll bar there. Which is the end unbranded version of the TRD Pro and then we've got the other type of roll bar pick and shovel toolbox and trunk supplies which is one of the standard in games one where you got one spare wheel and 150 repair points and then bumper configurations on the back is just a standard one and then he's got a skate trailer hitch side steps which let's add them on there he's got the taco pros side steps as well and a skate trailer hitch which is standard it comes with that anyhow and then we've got the front bumper option which is that's your standard one and then he, he built this one this one was bespoke for this vehicle he made it for it where we got the light bar in there as well so pretty nice the other one it was all branded toyota but obviously that's all gone we just got beadlock rims on there at the moment and then color choices quite a few different colors available as you can see and then bobleds, we've got in that in there if you want any of all that. And then accessories, got plenty of those if that's what you require. So let's get it out and do a bit of crawling in it. Well, like I said, I haven't used this crawler setup, so I thought let's give that a go. The last mod review I did on the Toyota Tacoma, we had it up at Musoko Highlands. Now put it into auto and you can see the, the nice thing about it, he's got these gearboxes where you can just whack it up here we are into fifth speed already so it has got enough poke there for, for you where uh, you hit that whoa, hit that clutch and away it goes it will jump up those gears which is what you want some of them are quite slow where it changes gears 
but not the taco. But I love this one. This is this is my go-to skate now. It really is, especially for console. This would be the one I'll be using all the time, really. Now we go up on the top here. We've got to be careful because we haven't got. Well, there's not many um, winch points, so as long as we go steady, we should be okay. It's just the winch points on the left-hand side. There's nothing there, so if you roll over that way, you're a bit screwed. Well, there we go, but I want to, as he says that, he's about to bloody roll it. Come on, you don't want to roll it at the start of the video, do we? Not really. Hang on, we're going to go off here. Let's get back lined up, here we go. And let's go into the low mode, because that's what you're meant to be doing when you're crawling anyway. I and mean, it is the fine tune one as well on this. But you can see all this suspension set up on it. It's fantastic. He's he's um, really chuffed with it himself. And I I was very surprised when I got in it. It's absolutely awesome. Now one of the features, and this is the first feature to come into SnowRunner, where inside there you can see we've got a camera. Now that is the bumper cam. Let's put it back into auto so we can reverse up. So that gives you your blind spot down below and you can see it works pretty well doesn't it it's really good i like that whoa bloody hell hang on where are you going the road's round that way i'll tell you what it's not a good idea to put the bumper cam on when i was just going to uh get round here first so let's have another look so yeah but we're pointing up at the stars at the moment and then we come down and you can see all the rocks and what have you so I like that, it's a nice little feature and inside you've got all the normal refinements, what we get from Delta Gaming, all, all working gauges, working mirrors, full interior, the whole lot. He doesn't do a half hour job, he finishes it all. He likes to get all the interiors finished, the whole lot, have it all working and then he releases it. So pretty nice. But let's get back into that low again. I'll go into low plus actually and then we can go from there. And while you're getting stuck on that, there we go. We're away again. But yeah, I just love the suspension travel of it. It's, um, it just floats over the bumps. There's none of that hit a, hit a rock and it bounces up and down. It just goes straight over the top. It really does. It's, uh, look at that. Awesome. He's got the suspension working really, really well. Fair play. Now you've got to remember Delta Gaming, he's only been modding for four months. Four months ago he never made a mod in his life and now he's knocked out what this is. Um, how many have we got in console? We've got quite a few now. now. I'll tell you what, I can't keep up with how many mods he's made because he's got quite a few what we made for um, private use as well. Um, they'll all get released in time but yeah. But he's got the mod bug where he enjoys doing it. And that's half the battle with it, because making mods is so time consuming, it really is, and you've got to enjoy it, because um, you won't get an hourly rate for it, because the amount of hours you put in for it, and how much a mod is worth, it's um, quite crazy really, but, but there you go. So I think we'll head on over, and we'll drop down here, nice and slowly, hopefully, let's put it into low minus and just roll it down there and we should have a nice controlled descent just like that beautiful into the auto bang it up to fourth well oh, bit of a power slide on the back there and this is where you can see all this suspension working beautifully go nice and slow as well Well, it tends to slide. I've, I found that on these um, these concrete bits, it tends to want to push the mod down for some reason. I don't know why that that is, but but fantastic bit of kit. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I've I've just dropped a video and let everyone know, and already there's a lot of people like, wow, can't believe it's here, and a lot of people at work as well. So they're like, 
bloody hell, I'm not going to get on that till later, but it's there for you. But let me know what you think about it because I just love this thing. This thing is just awesome. Come on. There we go. That suspension travel it is lovely. It really is. So let's go and put it through the mud. And see, well, I'm spinning up a little bit. It's trouble. I always try and go a bit too quick through there. So yeah, it's not, like I said, it's not OP whatsoever. You're not going to fly through the mud at 50 mile an hour or whatever. It's just, uh, you get your diff lock on and it gets through the mud without, without any issues really. The thing, he likes to build nice balanced vehicles. He doesn't like doing OP whatsoever really. Because um, OP, it just gets a bit boring. What's the point if you get a truck what never gets stuck? But some people like that. Not me personally. I'm not into that sort of thing. I'd rather have something what you've got to work with it a little bit. And yeah, we're uh, see we're just getting stuck there. There we go. Pull itself out again. Come on, get on that winch. And out we go. That beautiful. I can't believe it's here. This was only released a few days ago. Whereas I don't understand what's going on with the devs. They're saying there's a list of like 150 odd mods and you're telling me all those mods have um, got problems. They might well have. I just don't know. I'm just happy it's here. Really am. The next one I want to get out is the... I want to get my Defender out. We've been working on that. Got a few tyre options to add to it and what have you. And as soon as we do that, then um, that will be released. And hopefully we will get that pretty quick. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So let's go over these rocks. And yeah, see, it just soaks it up. That suspension, he's just got that working absolutely spot on. See, the vehicle more or less stays level all the time. And, it, you know, some mods is jumping up and down and it's just a little bit too hard on the suspension. But not with the DND Taco. Absolutely loving it. Brilliant. Nice bit of kit. Really is. My favourite mod. But let me know in the description what you think. Whether it's going to be your go-to skate. Or not. But do love it. Fair play. Right. Let's get down the hill. Now, one of the things we realised a while back was to find out how balanced it was as well. To take it over... There's the jump right at the bottom down here, and you take it over that, and you can see how, how where the weight is distributed properly because there's so many different parameters on Snowrunner. It's um, quite crazy. Whoa, and we buried ourselves there. Nice and steady on the throttle. Let's do it for a bit low. Well, low plus. Do a bit low. Diff lock. Diff lock comes in, and then that pulls us out. Now, some people don't like it. The way it will go into the mud and you know it sort of slows down but like I said he's not going to make an OP vehicle really isn't whoa now actually while we're here I'll show you the extended winch where that's one of the things he says that uh, he puts an extended winch on there so if you do get stuck you should have plenty of range and you can see we've got a decent range on that with the extended. That is about spot on, really. It really is. Fantastic bit of kit. Love it. And they're nice and slow, creeping off, banging in the next gear, into the next gear, and we are away. Fly in again. But it's, it is my favourite mod so far. It really is. Not that I've used every mod out there, but the ones I have used, absolutely loving this. And it does swim. Just like that. Fantastic. 
Right now, we'll leave it there for today's first look mod review for console mods of the DND Taco, aka the to Toyota Tacoma. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, why not check out some of my other videos? I've done over 550 SnowRunner videos now, and did you know I cover SnowRunner news? Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.